Hello, welcome back. I am in the Dingo Nature Reserve in Anglesey and I'm going to look for the red squirrels. This really is a fantastic place here. It's tremendous. I love it here. Well, I'm after the red squirrels. There's plenty here. But I'm hoping to meet a guy called Hugh Rowlands. He spent a lot of time here looking after squirrels. He feeds them. He's very, very knowledgeable about, about this place, let alone the squirrels. Um, I did see him earlier on as I got out my van. We had a little chat. And he said, I'll meet you up here. <laughs> so, see you in a bit. tremendous place this is. The birds are here, loads and loads and loads of birds. Tree creeper. Oh, it's a red squirrel there as we speak. I don't know if you can see that. It's fantastic habitat. There's a little wren there. How can you hear pet woodpeckers? Nest box up there. <clears throat> Woodpecker calling or knocking. Spring must be on its way. You right, mate? Collecting the rubbish up, is it? The youngsters, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I can only get there with wellies on as well. Yeah. Coming in to throw stuff as far away as possible. Yeah. From the boardwalk. Why do they do it? It's disgusting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, yeah beautiful place like this. There's no respect, is there? Yeah, I'm filming you, by the way. Not just you, I'm filming you. Yeah, I'm filming you. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Two foot will come down in. Is that brilliant? Yeah. We just been here for a couple of minutes to a couple of old footage. Yeah. First time that we've, we've, we've seen the squirrel and spent any much time here. But here they are, just look behind you. That's fantastic, yeah. We have to understand that, and people don't believe me when I say it. It only happens for nine years. Hey? It only happens for nine years. Yeah. It doesn't happen. They know you, don't they? It doesn't, it doesn't happen about anybody else. They do know you, don't they? Well, how long have you been doing it now? Um, not long. Uh, it's 12 years now. Not long. This is going on. <laughs> yeah, heading into my 13th year now. Yeah. Alright, Will. Mm. Hi, Will. The Fletch. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? All the better for seeing you. How are you gorgeous? Like, don't take pictures at my spot here. Go to yours. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> just tell my school. Good, Good to see you. And you, mate? I've seen Mrs. Fletch. Yeah. Oh, you my, just be talking to her a bit? My squirrel, Bill. Don't argue. Eh? They're my squirrels. They're your squirrels, too. <coughs> Always will be. Eh? If we share them, don't Hello, Abby. I see a lot of people over here. Here they come. Yeah. You've got a lot of trouble on the Wow. Oh, here's a case. Uh, What's that? It's like a, yeah. gra a grand national. I tell people when they come here, they say, this yeah. doesn't happen unless I'm here. And then they laugh at me like a nervous laugh. And I said, um, oh, if you don't believe me, I said, come back tomorrow when mm. I'm not here. And you see no squirrels. Yeah. And you look at me, you see a I see a black one here yesterday. Yeah, it was got loads of it. Totally black like you, was it? Yeah. Making season now. here, waiting for Hugh to feed it. That's absolutely amazing, now, isn't it? Feeding on mealworms. Are they live ones, too? These are live ones, yeah. Yeah. Um, the live ones are far better, far superior than the dead ones. Yeah. You're supposed to soak the uh, dry ones in it. Behind you. Squirrel, Squirrel behind me. Oh, this place is fantastic. Eh? <laughs> What's some more here? Oh, you put them on it. Put one there. In my hand. <laughs> There's a black squirrel coming up now. That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> I guess some people, you know, we're putting food in the hand and they see the robin. Yeah. And then they'll put the hand on top of the fence like that. Yeah. But it's not the same then. It doesn't come. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you need to fly to me. Otherwise, you'll have to stab. You see him looking, you know? yeah. People think when you're looking at you that that, that it, um, it's looking down the beak at you. Yeah. But you know, they no, turn their head. It uses it. That's where they're on the side, isn't it? They're not like owls without eyes in the. Yeah. Face. That's a male, isn't it? It's a male in singing to me. Yeah. The female's not as vocal. No. She tweets more than she than she she'll sing. Yeah. So that one I had on the phone yesterday, that was the no, female. female yeah. yeah. Um with, with the it's a red one here behind us now. Something wrong with that now. Did you pick a different one up then, didn't you? No, it was the same note. Yeah. Usually when they drop it, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. They'll pick another one up. They have three pads on their hands each hand. Yeah. They're highly sensitive. So yeah. they turn the nuts. You get information that'll tell them if the nut is full, half yeah. full or empty. Yeah. Or if it's rotten inside. Or it's a worm in it. It's a worm in it. Yeah.
Yeah. Same way we were watching them wax wings when we were photographing them the other day. As he's photographing the wax wings, you can see him picking the berries up and he'll drop them, drop them and then they'll start eating them. So it's a big kettle on now. Hey, eh? <laughs> kettle on now. Cafe today. Have you got your stove with you? Today? Yeah, I got my stove and everything. <laughs> yeah. Right on you. yeah, just tell him it's his wife's that he's. We make a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. The soap kitchen. Um, yeah. That little, it's a, it's a little perch over there. That's going to be a, um, a micro camper. Yeah, yeah. Here he comes, look. Let's get some pictures of that one. Beautiful. Dark one, dark one. <laughs> If you see the scratches they got on the face, can yeah, we'll be fighting? It's funny because some squirrels will take the chestnuts, some won't, won't they? Some won't, yeah. They're just like people, I suppose, aren't they? Yeah. Some people like chips and stuff. Yeah. Some people like broccoli. Oh, God. Most don't. <laughs> some people like sprouts as well. Oh, I can't stand sprouts. I like my food to be like a brownie, beigey colour. I don't like all that multi colour stuff. That's on the side. Oh, green. <laughs> You making a move with you, huh? I'm not. Oh, yeah, mate. Back if I can get the top. You'll have to starve until tomorrow. Hey? Tomorrow, you'll have to starve until tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, see you later, you. Well, see you, Ken. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll probably be here for a week, so I'll probably see you about, won't I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here tomorrow with um, friends of mine from the, from the raw peanuts, you know, um, monkey nuts, if you like. Yeah. And you eat a kilo of them. Yeah. Um, daily. You will end up. Extremely. Yeah, he's got the walnut, look. Look at it. Just baking the whole thing. Yeah. Why couldn't I record it that way? Yeah. You're not watching the squirrels, are you? No. I'll leave you to it so you watch the squirrels and do the recording. All right, here. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. And yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Take care, mate. I will. See you soon, hopefully. Bye. Yeah. No, you're not welcome down. All right, here. What a lovely fella. Right, I put the GoPros here. Two GoPros. And I want to get the squirrels coming up and taking the nuts that we put down for them. Right, we have a red squirrel just down there. Hopefully he's going to come up onto the fence. Run along the fence and take the nut. That's what I'm hoping. And here comes my good lady. Thank you, my love. Some, Some of them don't like chestnuts, isn't it? Have a look at it. Yeah, he's at it. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Right, we've got the red squirrel down on the floor by there. Here he comes. Up to some nuts. I don't think there's any left there, you know. He's looking at my GoPro. This is going to make some good footage. And there's one behind me as well.
I think they might think that I'm Hugh. <laughs> location we're going to now. It's an old abandoned uh, feeding station. Um, another squirrel over there on the log. I don't know if you can pick that up. That's lovely. It's coming towards me now. <laughs> Beautiful animals. But like I was saying, uh, this no next location I'm going to check out it used to be a feeding station but not anymore um, the council has stopped people feeding the squirrels which is crazy ludicrous they need all the help they can get especially in the winter why they shut it down I don't know I told people to uh, stop there uh, feeding them but they don't I certainly won't if I got some nuts in me and I see a squirrel I'm gonna give it to him I don't even know if I can find the place anymore I come up there a couple of years ago with you but uh, we sat there and we must have had 20 squirrels ring us. I didn't actually count them, so it could be a little bit less or more, I don't know. Right then, here we are at the old abandoned feeding station. I just put a couple of nuts out. Just see what happens. The squirrels everywhere, so with a bit of luck, they'll come in. I can't see any at the moment. When I got here, there was a woodpecker on a feeder over there, and God knows countless how many uh, chaffishes were there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, hopefully get a bit of a slow motion video. Nope, I can't see anything at the moment. We have a squirrel. There he is, lovely. Bit of slow motion there. We have a woodpecker. Great spot in Woodpecker. Really nice to see. That's the male there. Tell he's a male because he's got the red patch on the back of his head. Well, I've just had squirrels around me while I'm filming this Woodpecker. Switch the squirrels down, I think. Get a photo of that as well. Then.
Yep. Go for this one, brother. How often do you get a squirt, um, woodpecker this close? They're so skittish usually. You just six meters away from me, if that. You can see me talking, you can hear me talking, see me moving. And he's not bothered by my presence at all. You have a red feeding on the tree stump by there. I put a couple of walnuts in there. And we've got a black one on there. Or a black coloured looking red squirrel. And then we got a red. And that's a male by the look of him. Yep, I would say it was definitely male. These squirrels absolutely hate each other. But now it's coming at the breeding season, so they started to tolerate a little bit, each other a little bit more. There's another one coming up. Even though there's loads of squirrels here, loads of reds, they hate each other. They really do detest each other. The only time they come together is uh, when they're breeding. They come together when they're breeding and they're only receptive for one day. And after that, they're on their own again. Like. These things I'm telling you is what Hugh has been telling me. He's such a knowledgeable bloke. Another story he's told me, he said when it's really frosty and cold, he said the, the squirrels will come together then and they'll hug, huddle up to each other. And as soon as the morning comes, they start scrapping. <laughs> I haven't witnessed that myself, it's what Hughes told me. But I'd love to see it. And I can well believe it. What they actually do, you put some nuts down for them and then a tree trunk. They'll come up, they might eat one, but then they'll just go cashing then. They cash them everywhere. He's going in a <laughs> cheeky little bugger, you. <laughs> I hope I got that then. Squirrel actually <laughs> pinched. <laughs> pinched some nuts out of the bag. Right, if I put this down there. See if we go in there again. That's really wonderful to see. I'm filming this now in slow motion, so. I got the robin by the side of me again. Three, four, right in front of me now. This really is Squirrel City. Unbelievable. Look at that for a pose there. One over there, one over there, three by there, and they're all different colours. <laughs> they don't like each other. <laughs> they really don't like each other at all. <laughs> Just wondering where my feet have gone. There he is. Just 
Just got long tail tits. So there's a video of him actually. Video of a uh, long tail tits. Slow motion. Oh, it's just unbelievable. What's, what's here? There's one, two, three long tail tits there. No touches. Um, robins, blackbirds, here comes a squirrel again. I just love this. You coming to have a look what's in my bag here? <laughs> yep. What can you smell in here? He's going back. You can see the nuts on the floor, look. Nope, he's gone. You're in the back of me. Hugh uh, is really good friends with Yala Williams. Yala Williams comes here a few times a year. And he's always said that this is the best place in the country to see red squirrels. And I know for a fact that he's right. <laughs> it's just incredible what's here. I don't know where to film. There's actually around 1,500 red squirrels on Anglesey and the Dingle Nature Reserve is the best place to see them. There's just so much stuff here. Who would have thought you could get photograph a woodpecker like meters away from you? He sees you there and he's just not bothered. Not bothered at all. And it was just absolutely stunning to see them long tail tits come in like that. Right, that what I wanted now. I think I'll call it a day. The lights go in. So I might take a few more photos. And then I'll head up. I'll put some uh, video and pictures now at the end of this uh, video, like so. Hope you enjoy the vid. Catch you again.